Hey guys, how's it going? Dampy here, and welcome back to Hotty Full Boyfriend, which I'm gonna turn down right now because it's very loud. Anyway, let's continue where we left off. I haven't touched this game in over a week. Um, I apologize for the lack of uploads last week. I I was very uh, into Overwatch over the weekend and didn't get really anything done. But anyway, the sun, its majestic brilliance, sweeps across the land, lighting into a majestic glory. And it's the first day of the new year. Looks like I'm still alive to enjoy it. It's a little cold out, but it's calm and the sun is warm. I think I'll go visit the shrine. There are a lot of birds here already. Must be nice to have a warm winter plumage. Maybe I should borrow some from some birdie. I think I'll buy an amulet and go home. Bappy! Oh, look, he's got a little flower. Happy New Year! Here's some many happy returns, right? What are you doing, Rai? Exactly what it looks like. I'm working here today and tomorrow. Oh, it looks good on you. I came here to buy. An, you came here to buy an amulet, right? Which one would you like? Um, I'd like to go for. Ooh. I'm gonna go for school. That way we can kind of focus on other stuff. Here you go. Thanks, Ryuta, or Rai. Sorry. Are you here all day? Yep, the first day is always busy. Oh well, I was going to ask if you wanted to get lunch together, but... Sorry, Vampy, maybe some other time? Since you're here, why not go get a fortune? They're next to the main building over there. Okay, thanks. See you, Rai. Hmm? Mr. Nan, Happy New Year. Oh, hello, Kawaii. Happy New Year. Did you get a fortune, sir? Yes, unfortunately, I seem to have drawn the chicken of ill omen. Why don't you take one? I will. Hmm, which one should I take? This one. Good. You got a better one than I did. I think it'll be. This will be a good year for you, Kawaii. Thank you, sir. I still don't fully understand this game at all. Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you all had good vacations. I hibernated. What a shocker. And he fell asleep again. You're still hibernating. Sir, wake up. Oh. Um, I've said this before, but your junior year will be over before you know it. Let's enjoy the summer at uh, this time while it lasts. There's nothing special this semester. Nothing to worry about. Alright, so we're going into the third term. It's still light out, so maybe I'll go somewhere before I head home. Wee. And tomorrow's legumen time? I don't... I think I'll buy some beans. Today is a holiday where you give beans to the boy you like, but apparently it's used to... Im it used to involve throwing them at pigeons. Disgraceful. Good evening. Here for beans? Yes. Is there any kind you think is particularly good? This year's trend is toward those bean medallies for racers, but they're a little pricey. It's hard to say without knowing the bird in question, really. Hmm, that's true, and sometimes the cheap ramen tastes better than the expensive stuff. I think I'll buy... Oh, wow, I, I have no idea. Um... I'm gonna go with these ones. There's a reason. I'll take these. Thank you, miss. Here you go. There's a reason I'm taking those ones. Today's the day. The preparations are complete. Time to get the beast beans to that special sunbirdie. Almost empty, as always. And unsurprisingly, the heating doesn't work well here, so the winter winter cold will stick around through the February. The pervading chill has earned the library a dubious honor of being the, one of the school's least popular places in winter. The few students here are huddled around the heater, so Nageki should be... There you are, sitting in the frigid corner, far from the meagre effects of the heater, as expected. Please be quiet in the library. Oh, can you somehow forgive my dr dreadful sin? For it's cold here. Are you okay, Nika? <laughs> words. I am fine. Don't mind me, Miss Kawaii. Feel free to go sit by the heater if you're cold. Oh, that is so sweet. Nope, I'm fine. My house doesn't have a heater at all. Anyway, I have something to give you. 
It's legumin legumintons. I I'm just gonna call them beans. It's beans, you know. Here. For me. Yep, you're supposed to give beans to the most important bird in your life today. Do you want them? Yes. Thank you. He wordlessly accepts the beans and stares at the package as if he doesn't know what to do with it. Maybe he's never gotten beans before. I hope he likes them. Lots of requested books are going to come in today. I'll have to work through lunch. Ah, sorting all of these takes forever. I think I'll just have the encyclopedias to do before I'm done. Huh? There's a note on the help desk counter. Um, Miss Kawaii, be here after the other students have all left. Fujishiro Nageki. It reads like a challenge to a samurai duel. How fitting. I think this is the first time he's approached me. I wonder what it's all about. Nageki, are you here? Nageki. Er. Nageki? Hello, Miss Kawaii. You startled me. How long have you been standing there? From the very beginning. So, what did you need? I want to talk with you, Miss Kawaii. Talk with me. Continue our conversation. We were talking about bullying, I think. Okay, I'm all ears, Nageki. I'm not sure where to start. I've noticed a lot since the last time we spoke together. Miss Kawaii? Huh? Let's go outside. Wait, what? He never wants to go outside. What? But he hates going outside. Come on. He stands up and walks over to the door. I follow, agitated. You first. Okay. Why does he want to go out all of a sudden? I should be happy, but... Huh? What's wrong? You said you wanted to come out here. He stands in the doorway, pushing against the open air. What are you doing? Mime... Watch. He walks back a little ways into the library and then runs forward, crashing into the air? Nageki, what? He bounces off the invisible wall and falls back into the library. That's too good of a, to be a mime act, mime act. As I thought, I can't leave. What? I can't leave this room. I wake up in this library. After a while, I lose consciousness and wake up here again. And so it repeats. I'd say I'd come to understand the truth by talking to you, Miss Kawaii. You probably noticed, too, why no one else talks to me. That's because... Um... I'm gonna go out on a limb here. I'm the only one who can see you. Probably. I forgot why I was here, how I came to be stuck in this place. I've been alone here for years with no one to talk to. For years? My sense of time has broken. I cannot feel or remember its passage. I've seen at least five school festivals go by. But then you came and talked to me. I had had no partner but myself for so long and suddenly you wouldn't leave me alone. As I talked to you, I finally remembered why I can't leave. Oh my god, this is so sad! I killed myself in this room, and so here I stay. My clock broke here, its hands turning meanlessly each day, each the same day as the last. I'm sorry, I'm like tearing up. I'm actually really tearing up about this game. What the fuck? Alone, forever. No one is bullying me or ignoring me. I'm not here to begin with. I have no regrets. It was my choice to end my life here, after all. But I think I will miss you, Miss Kawaii. If I wasn't like this, I would... I would have liked to talk to you more for longer. I'm crying. Like, I'm legitimately... Like, there are tears streaming down my face right now. Okay. I wrap my arms around him. I can feel him softly, but he's cold. At first, sitting here alone was painful. At, I, but I grew numb over time. I ceased to feel pain. 
That feeling that I thought I had lost came back. Because of you. I'll talk to you enough to make up for everyone else, Nageki. Maybe one day you'll be able to leave. No. Why not? As I talked to you, I changed. I didn't notice until just recently. When you told me about this school, I was probably trying to take back the time I was never able to spend here. I never asked you to, but you relentlessly told me everything that was going on here. I already feel like I've spent a whole a full year at this school. And now it's over. Oh my god, I'm like legitimately crying right now. Oh my god. Okay, um, I think the clock's hands are going to stop soon. I don't want it to go! No! <sighs> no. Okay. His head is right next to mine, but his voice sounds muffled in distance. When I look down, his feet are already disappearing. Nageki, wait. We've, we've never talked like this before. I don't want this to be the last time. Don't cry, Miss Kawaii. I'm already long gone. There's no one here to mourn. But... There's just one last thing I need to tell you before I go. The thing that I noticed? The secret that stopped my clock? No, no, don't say it, Nageki. I... As I filled up, I grew closer to disappoint disappearing. You're the one who made me disappear, Miss Kawaii. I can't stop it now. But I still have so many things to tell you. You've already given me more than enough. I'm satisfied. The secret? Thank you. I love you. I cannot believe this stupid bird game made me cry so much. Oh my god. Oh, the music is by Kevin McFloyd. I love him because I use him for a lot of my my thing. Oh my god. Ah. Okay. My god. I'm like, oh, so many tears. So many tears. I can't believe this game made me cry, and I can't rem I can't believe we were so close to like the end of it, as far as Nageki's story goes. Oh my goodness. Alright guys, that seems to be the end of this episode. It might have been a little shorter than the other ones, but because we got an ending, I want to end it there. Now, I don't know if you have to replay like the entire game in order to get different endings. I'm not really sure, but uh, I will figure it out in... Maybe the series will continue. If not, that will be the end of this series. Because um, I'm pretty happy with that ending, to be honest. Even though it was really sad and it made me cry. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this, leave a like and comment down below if you want to see or want me to attempt the other endings. Um, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Whatever I Make. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye!